If you are one of the millions of smartphone users who put your photos online, you may be posting a lot more than just images. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with a serious warning, and it seems everybody is using their phone to post pictures nowadays. It's happening all the time. So with the touch of a button, you can show the world your photos, but you can also be revealing information you may not want to share, like the exact location of where you live, work, play, and go on vacation. There are more than 100 billion photos currently posted online, with thousands being uploaded every minute, from kids to pets, vacations, and graduations. You want to take a picture? Jennifer Miner oh, is a mom a and a blogger who puts up photos all the time. You're posting pictures of your kids, your home, Mm -hmm. Vacation spots. Wherever I am. Here's the vacation gals. But it's what you see online is only half the story. Most smartphones have a GPS chip built into them. So when you're taking a picture, it actually takes your location and stores it on that photo. John Rettinger well, is a technology expert. Pictures. He says There's the same technology that, that helps people see real-time traffic updates and find directions on their phones also leads to GPS coordinates being attached to pictures. And not only can you know exactly where it was taken, you know exactly the time that the picture was shot. And all it takes to find someone's location based solely on a picture is the right computer program and just a couple of minutes. So how easy is it to do this? Extremely easy. If you know where to look, it's one button to hit download and you are done. We decided to see just how easy it really is. A producer took pictures of just my face at locations around Los Angeles. We posted them to my Twitter account and asked and Rattinger to figure out where I was. Oh, you were shopping on Rodeo Drive. <laughs> I was. <laughs> right wow. outside of the Louis Vuitton store, enjoying the beautiful Southern California weather. Wow, that's where I was, right there. I was right there. Just by right-clicking on all of the photos, Rettinger was able to pinpoint my locations. And here we have your GPS coordinates almost exactly where it was taken. Here we are. Looks like you were in Griffith Park. I was. And I can tell that you were right at Grumman's Chinese Theater. That's exactly where I was. <laughs> so if you had somebody who had bad intentions out there, they could easily track you. Absolutely. With more than 70 million Americans currently using smartphones, smartphone tracking has become a hot button issue. Just this month, executives from Apple and Google were questioned about it on Capitol Hill. But the good news for smartphone users, jump right into your settings, turning off the location of your pictures, flick that off, you're done, is easy. Oftentimes you just go to settings and it says geolocation and you switch it off. And that is it, that's all you need to do. Look, what does she have? Oh, that's something oh. Jennifer Miner plans to do on her Blackberry. That's a good picture. Up until now, she had no idea her pictures <laughs> could be tracked. You never know what somebody's thinking, of course, so why take chances? Better safe than sorry. And it's interesting to note that our expert had never tried to read the location of a picture before, but he said it took him a total of 10 minutes to get the right program off the Internet and then learn how to do it. And once we posted our pictures, it took him less than 30 seconds per picture to find my locations, Erica. That's just creepy to use one word yeah. to describe it. So we saw briefly in, in, in your piece, the expert was showing us how to turn off these settings so people can't figure out where you are. Walk us through that, if you would. Okay, so we used an iPhone to take our picture. So what you're going to do is you're going to find settings, mm -hmm. go to settings, then you're going to go to general, then you're going to find location services, and where it says camera, you just want to have it turned to off. Make sure it's on off. I'll be doing that as soon as we finish here, Susan, All thanks. Right.